everyone and welcome back to the hottest day of the year and a new thing inside the box video I'm so excited after the last challenge which was a theremin challenge and quite a disaster for me I'm very happy to be back with a video and a challenge that was right up my alley you guys were still so so lovely about the theremin video so thank you very much for that and I would say without further ado let's check out the new box Alrighty, here's the new box and it is so heavy this time. I just did a little boomerang for Instagram where I used it as a left workout and I'm out of breath right now. It was so, so heavy, but very compact. I'm really excited to see what's in here. Let's unbox the box together. Ba -ba -da -ba. I legit thought that this was going to be a brass instrument. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's gonna be a horn or something. This looks so cool. It's glittery. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy right now. I always wanted to play an accordion. I've never done it before. And I, I just, I, I can't wait. Honestly, after the theremin, I was like, whatever comes next, I'm fine with it, but I'm really, really, really happy about this one. So uh, let's check out the challenge. Dear Nicole, we loved your clueless facial expression when you unpacked your last challenge, but congratulations, you defeated the theremin. Yes, I did. <laughs> Yet, there is so much more to try out, experience, and to say. That's what a new challenge is about. Write a song using the accordion. Yes! Ah! Oh, we can't wait for your lyrics. Have fun, and if you want, go out and find people who play along. Rock on, your Tourman team. Thank you so much! And I even got little hearts this time. Look at that. That's true love, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, this instrument doesn't come with any instructions and there are quite a lot of knobs and buttons. And I do believe that you kind of do the melody right here and you play the chords on here. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, the first day is all about trying everything out on your own and then tomorrow we'll watch some tutorials. But <laughs> Also, we've got these straps right here, and I don't actually know how to attach them. But we've got this little thing right here, this hook on this side, and on this side too. Don't press anything, it's like really heavy to close it. But if you press like a cord right here. It's so smooth. I just realized that I was holding my thumb um, behind the keyboard, but I can obviously play it like a piano. How will I ever know which knot is for which chord? <laughs> Now, because I can't see what's happening right here, um, I'm just going to use my selfie camera <laughs> to help me out. We have got, how many do we've got? One, two, three, six rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chords in one row. What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? What should we do with a drunken sailor? Morning, my darling friends, me and my other and better half, Max. Morning, friends. 
<laughs> we're currently on our way to that lovely Swedish furniture shop because we're currently rearranging our living room and I don't know about you but I always find these kind of decisions very challenging and quite overwhelming so there's another challenge in my life right now what is your challenge in life right now let me know life's full of challenges and obviously we've got the accordion challenge and I can't wait to be reunited with it <laughs> later now and I'm slightly all over the place because for the past couple of weeks I've been having the worst headaches because of my wisdom teeth every now and then and today I went to see a dentist and he told me that my wisdom teeth need to be removed as soon as possible so to get that horrifying picture out of my head I've got my big baby right here and I'm very excited to distract myself a little bit um, I'm gonna watch some tutorials and then I hopefully I'm gonna find out what all these buttons are for <laughs> oh look at her she's so pretty she's so pretty so pretty <laughs> Let's be real, I have absolutely no idea how this instrument works. But these, I believe, are the reeds. The accordion is actually a series of bellows, these are called bellows, um, that are compressed by being pushed and pulled, which lets air into the instrument, and that air crosses over a valve through a reed, uh, which then again causes a vibration in the instrument, which creates the sound. I know it sounds really complicated, it definitely makes sense. Now this instrument has two different reeds. If we press the black we have got quite a clear sound and when we push the white one there's just a little bit more to it so it almost has like a little bit more vibration. So you've got different reeds for different sounds. You know what? Yesterday when I unpacked the accordion, I was like, it is so weird because I don't really get a lot of sound from like a keyboard. Here's the thing, we've got that closing thing up here and we've got the absolute same thing on uh, the other side of the accordion. So um, this was closed all the time, which means that it couldn't really open down here, obviously. <laughs> So now this is moving so much. I just found out that this button right here actually has a little dimple in it. Every row belongs to one note. So the second row seen from the bellows is for the bass notes. The button with the dimple is the C, so we always know where the C is and therefore know what the other notes are. And the one beside the C is the C major. <laughs> And the one beside the C major in the same row is the C minor, so... Basically those bass notes, how they work is they work in a system of fifth. So we have got a C and this one would be a G and the one down would be an F because it's C, D, E, F, G. Now because these buttons are so close together, this is actually really difficult and quite confusing. <laughs> I have no idea what these rows are for, we'll find that out at some point. This is the C major minor, G major minor, then it would be G, A, B, C, D, D, major, minor. Also, you can really cuddle up with an accordion, which I think is amazing. It's so smooth and comforting. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> I've also just realized that you couldn't really see the dimple. I'm gonna show it to you in a second, but I'm really happy with with my progress. <laughs> It's 
new day and I've actually learned a couple of new things already this morning. As we've learned yesterday, of course, we want to unbuckle both straps. The one thing I've learned today is that we actually got an air button which allows me to push and pull the bellows without making any sound. I also learned that you should never push or pull the bellows without pressing any button. I think that because the instrument is right in front of your chest, it's like the sound and the vibration surrounds your entire body and it's just lovely. I love it. I now know what all these rows are for. We've got the root note in the second row, C, and then in the first row we've got the counter bass, so a major third above the C, above the root note, which is E in that case. Then um, to my left, your right, we've got um, the major chord, we learned that yesterday, then the minor chord, and then we have the seventh chord, and a diminished seventh chord. It's almost like braille, and we've got that little dimple for orientation. Where's my dimple C? And we also got two texture buttons on the top and on the bottom, and this is an E, and this I believe is an E flat. Dimple C, where's the dimple C? G, oh, I can't find them. because I've got quite a lot of colors on my fingers from playing the guitar, I can't really feel the buttons very well, so I, I can't really feel the dimple. I love that. Nope, dimple C. Where is it? C, where is the C? Where is C? Oh, for God's sake. I heard that you settled down that you Just keep forgetting that I need to pull or push the bellows <laughs> to make a sound. I'm now going to write a chord chart on a piece of paper to lay it in front of me. Maybe we're gonna find the chords for a song today, that would be so amazing. But generally speaking, I can't play this thing very well, but I just can say that it's a great experience and it is so much fun just to push, push the buttons. <laughs> This might not be the prettiest chart the world has ever seen, but um, hopefully it helps. Nope. Maybe I should do that in front of a mirror. <laughs> actually quite heavy so when you stand up you feel it even more because it falls into your arm and it's so heavy the the harder you push or pull the louder the instrument gets but you if you want to keep it at like one volume um you got to do it with the same pressure all the time but if it's so heavy it's just really difficult <laughs> Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is just play around with some chords. Today is the day that I've been waiting for. Um, today is the day that we're gonna write the song. Although I must admit that today I don't feel very creative. Sometimes it changes once you start writing a song, so 
I'm gonna wait, we shall see. I also already chose a topic, which at first I was like, I can't really do it, that's such a cliche topic for an accordion, but then I thought, why not? For me, an accordion is quite a um, nautical instrument. I associate it with the sea and the ocean. So I thought, why not write a song about the ocean? This morning, I asked for your inspiration on Instagram and I got so many lovely answers. Uh, really inspirational, very emotional also. It just made me feel all the feels. I definitely want the song to have like a French movie character. So I want it to be melancholic, but I want it to have this lightweight feeling. But yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna write down some lyrics and then we're gonna move on to the music. I've got my guitar right here, right here, and I've got my piano in the back. I will try to write it on the accordion. I'm actually excited to see what is going to happen today. French vibe is what we're going for. That sounds beautiful, that sounds quite French. Someone has already written it. <laughs> Where's my dimple C? Give me my dimple C. <laughs> Is that a song that already exists? It just sounds too good to be true. I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm stuck, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna switch to the piano for a second and see if I can come up with a different chord progression. You wait, it saves me, I keep on dreaming. You breathe, help me for my I've been sitting here for a couple of hours and I think it is time to stop. I'm going to Berlin tomorrow actually, so I need to pack and I'm gonna bring my accordion with me. I really want my producer to play the guitar for me um, cause I wanna hear how the accordion sounds with an electric guitar, for example. That's my alarm going off. That tells me that I really need to stop and go to bed, basically. See you tomorrow, Good night. Hello Berlin city, I have arrived. The journey was quite interesting. The train was super packed. Now I'm here for three days working in the studio. I'm so excited. I'm also out of breath. I've got my accordion in the bag. That was pretty dumb. Um, yeah, I'm happy. Einen müsste man noch ändern. Nur einen. Ja, und zwar vor der Bridge. Oh. Ja, ja, der, der Klassiker, ne? Ja. Weißt du, ja. der siebene Ja, da ist er. Das ist so geil beim Akkordeon. Ja. Das Akkordeon hätte ich auch gern. Das ist geil, ne? Das, genau die Größe, ja. weißt du, so für daheim, genau so. Ja. so ein, genau so ein mhm. Zeug spielen. Ne? Voll. Lieben alle. Ja. Ja. I'm really happy. I've had a great day. Um, we wrote an amazing song. We had a lovely jam session with the guitar and the accordion. The three main tasks tonight are going to be getting some food. Very important. Um, then I need to edit this video and I need to finish the accordion song. I'm looking forward to that, but first I'm just going to take a little break. Special delivery! My producer dropped off a guitar for me um, about two hours ago and we decided to go and grab something to eat together which was really really lovely. Very delicious food. I took the camera with me but um, forgot the SD card so here's some uh, footage from my phone and yeah it was very delicious. I still need to practice the accordion and finish the song. And it's quite late already, and I'm obviously in a hotel, so let's see how that goes.
crystal clear, clear, clear. Yes, I'm space when I look at your face. There's no fear. I've just finished the song. I'm so happy with it. It is so much fun. I can also hold the camera and play at the same time. That's kind of cool. Let me try that. You're a home, you're a song, you're a little bit of it all. Ba, ba, da, da, ba. <laughs> and I'm back home and I just thought I'd mention one more little thing before I sign off for that video and um, because my producer actually made me realize that I was doing something a little bit wrong the entire time because it obviously makes so much sense to not play the rhythm with the bellows if you want to play um, a melody on the right hand at the same time because if you play the rhythm with the bellows you will always get the same rhythm for the keyboard so if you play the rhythm with the buttons instead you're free to play whatever melody you like on the keyboard with whatever rhythm you want i'm very very excited for the second part of the challenge i'm really really happy with how the song turned out make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it make sure you check out torment's youtube channel Thank you so much for working with me on this video. Really, really enjoyed that challenge. And then I hope to see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.